When should one cut off ties with toxic people? Maintaining healthy relationships is crucial for personal well-being and mental health. Unfortunately, some relationships can turn toxic, adversely affecting your happiness and quality of life. Although deciding to sever ties with such individuals can be difficult, it may be necessary. Here are five key signs that it might be time to end a toxic relationship. 1. Ongoing negative impact. If someone consistently brings negativity into your life, impacting your mood, self-esteem, and overall mental health, it's important to reassess the relationship. Continuous criticism, belittling, or undue stress can erode your confidence and well-being. Reflect on whether their presence is beneficial or if it consistently drags you down. 2. Disregard for respect and boundaries. Respect and clear boundaries are crucial for a healthy relationship. If someone frequently disregards your boundaries, disrespects your values, or dismisses your feelings, it's a major red flag. Ongoing disrespect is a strong indication that it might be time to distance yourself from this person. 3. Patterns of Manipulation and Control Toxic individuals often resort to manipulation and control to satisfy their own needs, leaving you feeling powerless or exploited. Watch out for behaviors like guilt tripping, emotional blackmail, or other controlling tactics. If you constantly find yourself yielding to their demands or feeling emotionally trapped, it might be necessary to end the relationship. 4. Negative Impact on Your Mental Health Your mental health should be a top priority. If interactions with someone leave you feeling anxious, depressed, or drained, it's essential to evaluate the situation. Toxic relationships can significantly impact your mental well-being, and distancing yourself may be a vital step towards recovery and self-care. 5. Lack of willingness to change. While everyone has flaws, a willingness to grow and change is crucial for a healthy relationship. If you voiced your concerns and the person shows no intention of addressing their harmful behavior, it may be time to reconsider the relationship. Persistent issues with no effort to improve often indicate that the relationship may no longer be viable. How to be friends and deal with an annoying neighbor. Dealing with an annoying neighbor can be quite challenging, especially if you value peace and harmony in your living space. While it might be tempting to avoid or confront them, Finding ways to build a positive relationship can lead to a more enjoyable neighborhood experience. 1. Communicate openly and calmly. Clear communication is key to resolving conflicts. Approach your neighbor calmly and express your concerns without being confrontational. 2. Find common ground. Discovering shared interests can help foster a positive rapport. Whether it's gardening, sports, or community events, finding common ground can pave the way for a friendly relationship. Attend neighborhood meetings or gatherings where you can interact in a relaxed setting, allowing you to bond over shared activities and reduce tension. 3. Set boundaries respectfully. Establishing boundaries is crucial for maintaining peace. Politely but firmly explain your limits regarding noise, privacy, or shared spaces. For example, if your neighbor's music is too loud, kindly ask them to lower the volume during specific hours. Being clear and respectful about your boundaries helps set mutual expectations and reduces future conflicts. 4. Offer help and be considerate. Sometimes, annoying behavior may arise from a lack of awareness or personal difficulties. Showing kindness and offering help when appropriate can make a difference. For instance, if your neighbor is elderly or has young children, consider assisting with tasks like carrying groceries or babysitting. Acts of kindness can foster goodwill and encourage your neighbor to be more considerate in return. 5. Seek mediation if needed. If direct communication doesn't resolve the issues, consider seeking mediation. Many communities offer mediation services where a neutral third party can help facilitate a resolution. Mediation provides a structured setting for discussing grievances and working towards a mutually acceptable solution, ensuring that both parties are heard and respected. 5 Ways to Stay Happy in a Relationship 
Finding and sustaining happiness in a relationship can be both rewarding and demanding. It's important to keep the connection vibrant and resilient, despite life's inevitable ups and downs. Here are five practical strategies to ensure lasting joy in your relationship. 1. Communication is essential. Effective communication is the cornerstone of a happy relationship. It's essential to express your feelings, needs, and concerns openly and honestly with your partner. Regular check-ins, active listening, and empathetic conversations can prevent misunderstandings and strengthen your bond. Make it a practice to share not only significant events but also the small, everyday moments. 2. Prioritize quality time together. In today's fast-paced world, finding time to be together can be challenging. However, prioritizing quality time with your partner is crucial. Whether it's a date night, a weekend getaway, or simply cooking dinner together, these moments help strengthen your connection. Engaging in shared activities and hobbies can also create lasting memories and reinforce your relationship. 3. Practice gratitude and appreciation. Consistently expressing gratitude and appreciation for your partner can greatly enhance relationship satisfaction. Acknowledging their efforts, appreciating the small things they do, and celebrating their achievements helps them feel valued and loved. This positive reinforcement not only boosts their self-esteem but also fosters a supportive and affectionate environment. 4. Maintain individual identities. While a relationship includes many shared experiences, it's equally important to maintain your individuality. Pursuing personal interests, goals, and friendships outside the relationship helps you grow as a person. This, in turn, brings new perspectives and energy into the relationship, preventing feelings of dependency and boredom. 5. Resolve conflicts constructively. Every relationship encounters conflicts. The key to a happy relationship is not the absence of disagreements but how you manage them. Approach conflicts with a calm and constructive attitude. Aim to resolve the issue rather than win the argument. Employ techniques like active listening, compromise, and finding common ground. If needed, consider consulting a professional counselor to help navigate particularly difficult issues. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.